So let's uh, solve number 1.39. So and opened it up here. So our question is asking that we should place, these are the instructions. So we should place a wireless access point on the desktop, which supports transmission speeds of up to 600 Mbps, and also should be backward compatible. The keyword here is with other wireless standards that use 2.4 band gigahertz. So from our um, from our table here, there are only the only wireless standards that supports up to six hundred Mbps is this N standard, right? So N standard supports both bands, band two point four and also band five. So below below that band we have the band G supports two point four with fifty four Mbps. Uh, the speeds band B. 2.4 with also 11 Mbps, and also band A with 5 gigahertz band, standard A with uh, the band of 5 gigahertz supporting 54 Mbps. So since our question is asking here that uh, that particular band should be backwards compatible, uh, that standard should be backward compatible with these bands that support uh, uh, the 2.4 gigahertz. So it means that uh, we should select a wireless access point which is supporting band B, band G, and also band N. So let's drag a wireless access point with those features. So um, that wireless access point supporting B, G, and N. So I can just drag uh, just a minute to try to. Yes, so let's drag this one here to the table. All right, so I love that sound. So it is telling us we have uh, selected it. Uh, we should, um, the second thing, we are going to connect our, um, we are going to connect our wireless access point to our router for us to get internet. So let me just, Zoom a little bit. Zoom, zoom, zoom. So, so for us to connect the wireless access point to the router, we will need a an Ethernet cable. So from what we are given here, the only feasible cable we are going to use is get cat five cat six a. We cannot use this UTP cable. It supports modular plug of RJ eleven, and that means. The RJ11 is used in telephony network. So we'll click on our CAT 6A, uh, drag it, and then when that particular interface where we need to connect it turns blue, we can drop it. All right. So we have only connected one part of our cable. So as you can see here in the bottom uh, on, uh in the bottom uh, bar here, we have this one part of the cable. Or the connector which is uh, which has a status of unconnected so we need to connect that end to this particular to our wireless access point so we need to also drag it and then when it turns blue here at this particular interface we'll drop it so we've connected successfully the cat 6 cable 6a cable to our uh, wireless access point and also to our router. So we need to power our wireless access point. So from uh, our setup here, we have this PDU, power distribution unit. So this one is a managed power distribution unit. It supports uh, the management through a network console. So you can see these Ethernet cables here, uh, these Ethernet interfaces. So it means we can manage this particular power distribution unit of our network. So these are the these are the free spaces we are going to connect. And so from our cables in the shelf, we only have the power adapter. So we'll um, drag it. Then when it turns blue, we will drop it and then select the uh, uh, the, the connector. So we need to select this uh, connector AC power connector. And then uh, when you hear that sound. 
it means we have successfully connected. We also need to connect the unconnected part of that cable to our wireless access point. So we will uh, similarly drag and drop to this particular point. So from that particular point, our wireless access point is on and we can see those blinking uh, green lights, which mean we have connection. So uh, let me just have an overview of this one. So this one, this, these are the, um, um, these are the connectors. So this one is a connector from coaxial cable. Uh, this one is a connector from this cable, which I was speaking about, the RJ11. So as you can see, it has, let me just, so let me just a little bit. Just a minute. So as you can see with this connector, it has it has that particular um, icon of a telephone. So it means this is an RJ40, RJ11 connector. This one, you can see it has um, an icon of a computer. This is where we connect our RJ45 uh, connectors, which are used in uh, uh, for our network. Uh, money for our network. Now, if we go back to our question that we need to enable the home owner's laptop to connect to the network, wireless network. And so for this particular laptop, we need to, this particular laptop has a physical switch uh, for wireless network connection. So we need to enable that particular connection by a physical switch. So we are going to find that switch by hovering around. Um, we want to hover around the laptop so to see where the particular switch is. So, yes, so as we hover, we'll see where my cursor is. I, that, that is where we need to turn on our wireless connection. So, we'll turn on. And so, this particular light uh, we uh, will just uh, signify that uh, we have turned on the network connection. And so after we have successfully turned on our network connection, we need to uh, now enter our laptop interface. So this is our laptop. So this is our interface. We need to go to our connection. Let's go to Wi-Fi. So we have that particular home net uh, SSID being broadcasted as captured by our adapter. So the final instruction was uh, to configure the home owner's laptop, connect automatically. So we will click connect automatically. And then finally, this is an open network. It does not require authentication. So anyone with the SSID will connect dangerous setting, but anyone with the SSID will connect so you need to check this particular box that we connect automatically and then connect so um, our status here is connected you can see this we have internet access let's try to access anything on the web mm -hmm. let me try to search yes so i'll try to search hh and it works so that is how we have our connection and that is how we solve our lab. That is how we solve our lab. So after you, you're done solving this lab, um, our score here is 100%. You can score the lab. And then we have uh, that score of 100%, so it means we are done with that particular lab.